بي شويه تكرار بس ويل جو كويكلي اوفر ذا ثينجز ان شاء الله So as I said, radiology is a specialty that deals with imaging techniques. Uh, for the majority of the part, it's mainly for the diagnosis of diseases, but also it has a role in treatment of uh, many of the diseases. So radiology is diagnostic and uh, therapeutic um, uh, specialty. So your major role as a radiologist eventually is you are a consultant to other physicians. Uh, the structure of the program in Canada, it's five years residency program. The first year, it's basically a basic clinical um, uh, training year. And uh, the next uh, four years is mainly general diagnostic and interventional imaging. The first year of the training program, it's um, Uh, pretty much kind of uh, internship, but with uh, a resident responsibility. Um, in Canada, rotations تختلف من اختلاف program. في program University of Toronto, it's five five of rotations are surgical. We do general surgery, orthopedics, uh, neurosurgery, urology, and obstetrics and gynecology, and we do six medical um, uh, rotations. Uh, Uh, medicine, pediatrics, respirology, cardiology, and two rotations of emergency medicines. Um, the aim and the, the aim of the residency program uh, is basically to function as the general diagnostic radiologist at the end of the program. Uh, after you finish the residency program, uh, most of the people follow their training by one, two, three years of fellowship trainings and subspecialty discipline. So we'll. Uh, The fellowships available for uh, after after the residency training, تقريباً we have like eight fellowships, and then the breast imaging, the cardiothoracic. Some people do just chest imaging. Some people do uh, uh, chest and cardiac imaging. There is a body imaging or abdominal uh, radiology with and without non-vascular intervention radiology, uh, neurodiagnostics, and you can subspecialize in neurointervention radiology, uh, and nuclear medicine, which is uh, Uh, in, in some in some universities, it's a separate residency program. Uh, and then uh, musculoskeletal radiology, emergency radiology, which is relatively new fellowship, and mainly for um, uh, in, the, in the trauma centers, uh, vascular intervention radiology, which is a new trend um, recently, and pediatric radiology. As well, and pediatric radiology, you can subspecialize as well as like pediatric interventional, pediatric neuro, pediatric musculoskeletal, and so on. The fellowships I underlined here are mostly have a therapeutic and interventional component, whereas the most of the others uh, are purely uh, uh, diagnostic. Uh, nuclear medicine has a therapeutic component as well, where you can have your own clinic and see patients. Um, So, هذا سؤال سألت كثير. So I thought I would add it. No, why radiology? Uh, basically, three main reasons. صراحة, uh, I I decided to do radiology. تقريبا في نهاية medical school, it was a process of elimination initially. So. Um, التخصصات اللي we, uh, I went through uh, during the medical school عرفت ايش التخصصات اللي ما راح مستحيل اسويها uh, I came across radiology we have in uh, في جامعة الملك سعود uh, في الرياض and then a course في سنة ثالث radiology um, although it's purely like didactic lectures بس انه um, at least at that point I know that there is something called radiology I know like majority of people, they don't know about radiology until like later on in the medical school. Uh, so I decided to try radiology and then uh, so wet elective, I like the environment very much. Uh, it's very collegial environment. Uh, most of the people are nice. Um, uh, there is uh, less competitive atmosphere for, for, uh, um, within, within the residency program within the, uh, among the residents themselves. It's less of tex toxic environment compared to many other specialties. Um, the second reason, the type of practice in radiology, you, you have a wide range of options of, of, 
uh, fellowships, you have the option of being purely diagnostic, being interventionist, or doing both as well. Um, you have the uh, quite uh, non-busy life options, and you have the very hectic, uh, uh, busy uh, emergency situation that if you opted to choose this life, you also radiology can provide you with these options as well. Radio as a radiologist, you can uh, basically work anywhere uh, in tertiary, uh, hospitals, they always, of course, need radiologists in the community, in tertiary hospitals, they need a radiologist in a private practice, uh, you, they need a radiologist. Uh, so you have, you have many options uh, in terms of that, the, the type of practice as well in terms of the daily problem solving skills in radiology. Uh, basically, your job as a diagnostic radiologist, you are solving puzzles every day. And that was very interesting to me when I did that during the uh, during my electives. The science of radiology is also interesting. You basically study all the diseases from the head to toe, the entire body systems, and also radiology is very flexible career and uh, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, decide pretty much كيف جدول حيكون. A third option, work-life balance. You have a question mark because uh, من بعيد راديولوجي كأنه التخصص ال 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 العالم الوردي المريح جدا which is to some extent it is true in some aspects in radiology لكنه uh, after I started residency I realized إنه uh, some subspecialties in radiology are very hectic and very busy و take take يعني a lot of uh, uh, a lot of hours from from your daily living, basically. Uh, so I came across this statistics في Canada هنا, uh, which is I thought it's it's nice to share and nice to be aware of uh, that in terms of the balance between the personal and professional commitments, we see like almost fifty percent are unhappy about this balance, uh, whereas on the majority of them are happy about their professional life and the career-wise itself uh, because it's a very satisfying specialty, I believe. طبعا, this does not apply in, 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 in everything. It's, it's, it's certain subspecialties that have this very uh, busy life, uh, namely in vascular intervention radiology, neuro intervention radiology, and abdominal imaging. Most, many of them have very busy. Uh, Brief talk about uh, tra training program here you know, at the University of Toronto. It's, uh, it's the biggest program in Canada. Uh, uh, around 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 في الـ في الـ training program uh, في كندا في Canadian Medical Grad في الـ International Medical Grad وفي الـ Visa Sponsor Trainee الـ Canadian Medical Grad والـ International Medical Grad هذا الـ, الـ, الـ financial supports by the Canadian government basically والـ International Medical Grad is basically either Canadian who graduated from medical school outside Canada أو um, uh, a person who has a legal status in Canada in terms of permanent uh, residency or immigration status. Our program functions uh, among eight core hospitals. Um, the calls in, in our program starts after the fourth month of residency. So you will start, um, uh, the academic year starts in July. By November, uh, you start doing calls um, there is no second call in our program. Uh, your second call is, is the consultant, basically. Um, the program in Toronto, uh, compared to other programs in Canada, uh, they have a higher number of calls because of the large number of hospitals and relatively uh, low number of residents. Uh, uh, there is something called PEEP, Pre-Entry Assessment Program, that's worth mentioning here. Hada, 
غالبا في اونتاريو مقاطعه اونتاريو كلها اتس نوت سبيسيفيك تو تورنتو and this is basically a period where you get assessed before officially starting your uh, residency training uh, this is for all prog- all residency programs in, in in ontario not just for radiology which is basically تقريباً, uh, from 4 to 12 weeks of uh, you are assuming the role of resident but you are kind of under probation period if you pass this period you are officially enrolled in the program if you don't pass this period um, you can start your residency training. Uh, the program in Toronto is a very diverse program, cultural-wise. Uh, the city is very big and busy city. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, uh, the housing in Toronto, which is a very important aspect when choosing a place to live in, uh, Toronto is uh, on the more expensive side in Canada, which is تقريبا average 2,000 Canadian dollar حول 6,000 ريال تقريبا. So the program structure في Toronto, again, it's five years program. Uh, the first year is uh, basic clinical training. بعدين uh, four years of core radiology training. Uh, we don't have promotion exams from the Royal College, basically, so you can you basically um, advance from PGY-1 to PGY-2 to PGY-3 without promotion exam. But there are a center-based assessment exams every uh, year. In our program, we will have two exams, approximately in the year and in the end of the just to assess the performance. But it's not a requirement for uh, passing through year to another. في نهاية البروجرام في نهاية بي جي واي فاي في رويال كولج بورد اكزام اتس تو بارت في اورال اند ريتن بورد اكزام. If you do your training in Canada, you will also be eligible to write the American board exam, even if you don't do any any uh, rotations in, in the United States. Also, research is an um, uh, obligatory component in, in, in the program. You have to at least complete one research project in, uh, throughout your residency training. طبيعة العمل والكورس في 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 الراديولوجي زي ما تكلموا الشباب اللي اللي قبلي غال في يعني معظم الروتيشن تبدا من الساعة 8 إلى الساعة 5 بعض الروتيشن ممكن تبدا الساعة 7 أو 7 ونص. فور ذا موست بارت شغلة مايلي ريبورتنج بيزكلي دكتيتنج ذا كيسز. في بداية اليوم يو هاف تو ترياج ذا سكان ريكوست. Uh, prioritize uh, one from the other. Also, sometimes you have to make sure that uh, the right request and right uh, uh, requested modality was uh, uh, was done. And uh, sometimes you get wrong requests from the requesting physicians. So your job to uh, basically uh, recommend another modality if you think that's not that's not the right test. Plus minus procedures uh, depends on the rotation. Again, uh, يعني rotations اللي فيها procedures, breast imaging rotation, musculoskeletal radiology, vascular intervention radiology, and uh, to less extent abdominal imaging. Uh, almost all the hospitals in them teaching from الساعة ثمانية إلى الساعة تسعة and other teaching from الساعة اثناعش إلى الساعة واحدة. Uh, calls in Toronto, uh, it's basically shifts, uh, kind of night floats. We don't have 24 hour uh, uh, on-call service. Uh, so this is a random snapshot from our from my schedule last year. Uh, uh, so basically we do average من 55 إلى 75 ساعة في الأسبوع. So, مثلا على سبيل المثال يوم الاثنين هنا اداوم الساعة 8 الصباح إلى الساعة 5 العصر هذا دوامي العادي وبعدين uh, you cover extra 3 hours uh, إلى الساعة 8 الليل لحد ما يجي الاوفر نايت بيرسون اند تيك اوفر في الأسبوع هذا أصير أداوم من الليل من الساعة 8 إلى الساعة 8 في الويكند هذا أغطي من الساعة 5 العصر إلى الساعة 8 الصباح تقريبا this is the average monthly uh, on call schedule Available programs in Canada generally, تقريباً في 17 program, three of them are French uh, programs. Al-Baghi are English uh, residency training. Uh, University of Toronto and McGill are the uh, basically two training programs that uh, take the um, 
visa sponsored trainees. Miguel, they have been taking residents for so long. University of Toronto, they started to take residents from the Khaij and regular almost every year. Al-Jam'at uh, Hadi, Queens, McMaster, uh, UBC, Mokil Sanayak, the one so I think it had a question mark. Sana and Sana. I don't know, depends on what, but, ma but mainly I think it depends on the, on the uh, actual, available, actual available residency slots that the Canadian governments cannot afford uh, financial sponsorship for. Uh, so the application process, the first step is communicate with the uh, Canada. Uh, available programs that uh, that are taking uh, residents uh, residents uh, they will provide you with an updated list and they will also provide you with uh, required documents fee uh, portal we apply through which is portal it's not the same as the matching system hangal Canadian residents the main required documents that you need, basically it's the uh, Canadian examination. You need a sponsorship letter or nomination letter. You need to, spo you need to have a sponsor from Saudi uh, to process your application. You need recommendation letters or references. Bag the programs that uh, language exam, either IELTS or TOEFL. Taqriban a deadline of the application is around July of each year. Like and again, uh, if you plan to um, apply in Canada, you should the first step communicate with the because even their deadlines it's variable from year to year. Uh, interviews in radiology again, it's it's not consistent. For the programs, so we interview in September, in October, in December, and sometimes it Once you do the interview, the offers come uh, after the interview. So you have to plan early, basically, if you decide, if you are thinking of doing your residency in, in Canada, uh, plan early, uh, make sure that you have everything ready from early on. This uh, is a hard question, how to increase your chances, because uh, I don't think there is one single best answer or certain things that will guarantee that you will you will get an uh, acceptance in Canada. But uh, if you work on all of these things, definitely you will increase your chances. So the exam matter. If you need a high score or, or average score, Saraha, I don't know. Um, the applicants uh, in Gabalo, their scores are less than other applicants who did not get an acceptance. Uh, electives سلاح ذو حدين أحيانا يفرق معك نعرف uh, أحد الرازدنس uh, سوى الالكتف in certain program McMaster basically وسوى uh, الالكتف he's the only one who got an interview who apparently يعني they like the applicant so much so عطوه ال... his elective was the interview and عطوه position and they did not invite any other applicants for the interview so electives can be very helpful Sometimes, if you go and do elective and they don't like you, when this is on, on uh, uh, letter of recommendations definitely matter. If you have very strong letter of recommendation, you will increase your chances. Khasatan either a letter of recommendation from someone who uh, did his training in, in, uh, in that program that you are applying for and um, into good relationship, good connections. A personal statement, if you have very strong and nice a personal statement, you are basically, if the personal statement just sawak al nafsik, but in a nice way. So um, if you have a nice personal statement, uh, this may reflect that you have a, 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 um, a nice profile. A language exams, some of the programs require the language exams, some do not. Uh, University of Toronto, they don't require any of these language exams. The per once you get an interview, your performance in the interviews as well matter. So uh, practice doing the interviews with uh, someone who has an experience interviewing people. Um, uh, so it's, it's always 
good to be to go to the interviews when you are prepared. Clinical experience. بعض الناس يقول والله هل لو أسوي راديولوجي في السعودية سنة سنتين this will increase my chances or not ممكن بس not necessarily I think يفرق من program the program in our program في تورنتو في ناس قبله وبعد سنة سنتين ثلاث سنين وفي ناس قبله fresh ما سووا ولا شيء back home if you have conf if you have presentations and conferences this will definitely be will look good in your in your application if you have a research uh, so I can it's preferable to be in radiology obviously uh, in radiology it's not the end of the world uh, but it's good to have to be involved in research because it reflects that you have an interest in in in, 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 uh, in some aspect of the academia which is basically most of the programs you go for at least in Canada Kulum university based so Kulum academic programs. Uh, extracurricular activities uh, again i think it's it's good to have them how important they are i don't know and i think nobody knows uh, job market again هذا, uh, سؤال صعب ولأنه يفرق uh, I think this question was meant to be كيف consultant jobs في السعودية uh, صراحة ما أدري uh, هل في saturation ولا لا وagain هذا يعتمد على I don't think في السعودية كاملة I don't think there's saturation because uh, the number of the, vo the number of imaging volumes are increasing uh, exponentially و بينما عدد الكونسلتنس مو جالس يزيد قد ما الفوليوم هذه جالسه تزيد لكن السؤال هذا مثلا هل اتس ايزي تو فايند ا كونسلتنت جوب في الرياض على سبيل المثال او في جده او البيج سيتيز هذه صراحه اي دونت نو ام نوت ذا بيست بيرسون تو انسر ذس كويستشن احسن ناس يجاوبونك على السؤال هذا ار ذا كونسلتنتس ذيم سيلفز في السعوديه وعادي يو كان اسك يو كان ابروتش اني وان ذيس از نورمال كويستشن تو اسك أو الفيلوز اللي جالسين يسوون ذير تريننج في السعودية كوز they have been through this process and they know exactly مين uh, يعني قديش الناس اللي تخرجوا من الفيلوشيبس في السعودية they got hired as a consultant. Uh, غالبا انت لما تبتعث لكندا او United States او اليوروب غالبا you have a sponsor غالبا مستشفى معين يبتعث so this is kind of sort of uh, um, guaranteed way of getting a consultant job uh, so this is an advantage of uh, doing your training abroad um, otherwise if Canada job marketing is excellent everyone who uh, finished the residency training they get uh, they get jobs almost in every place and all the places that they wanted to practice at uh, whether they did fellow fellowships قليلين اللي ما يسوون فيلوشيبس بعد ريزيدنسي تريننج لكن حتى اللي ما يسوون فيلوشيبس they get jobs in, in the peripheries في الكوميونتي هوسبيتالز يعني البرزنتيشن كان سريع كوز موست اوف ذا ثينجز وير كفرد باي ذا بريفيوس توكس من الشباب مصطفى وسلطان سو اف يو هاف اني كويستشنز ذات اي ديد نوت كفر should we should be able to answer them ان شاء الله يعطيك العافيه دكتور بالنسبه للاسئله او سؤال يقول regarding the scholarships what are the possible options for us if you could talk more about it yeah so القطاعات اللي اللي تبتعث historically كانت الجامعات دائما غالبا تبتعث اوذو جامعه الملك سعود مؤخرا صارت صار صعب فيها جيتنج بوزيشن لاعاده وذلك بسبب انه صار عندهم اوريدي عدد كبير من المعيدين مبتعثين بار ستيل ان اوبشن سواء جامعه الملك سعود او 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 اي جامعه ثانيه يعني عموما القطاع قطاع الجامعات المستشفيات المرجعيه زي او المدن الطبيه زي مثلا مدينه الملك فهد مستشفى الحرس الوطني شميسي يوم مدينة ملك سعود الطبية هذا هذا ميلي في الرياض أنا لأن من الرياض و this is the process that I went through أو التخصصي أو وزارة الدفاع بعضهم 
يكون يصير عسكري وبعدين يبتعد او وزاره التعليم وغالبا وزاره التعليم البروسس ثرو وزاره التعليم هي بيزكلي وظيفتك بعثتك ويو جو ثرو الابلكيشن في وزاره التعليم وغالبا هم يشبكونك في وزاره الصحه وتصير تبتعث من احد احد مستشفيات وزاره الصحه Um, so basically هذه هي الاوبشنز جامعات المدن الطبيه المرجعيه وزاره الدفاع uh, وزاره التعليم وزاره الصحه uh, بالنسبه للسؤال الثاني يقول uh, what universities in canada do you recommend us taking electives in uh, طبعا i recommend انك you take an elective in a place that you know they already take uh, saudi applicants uh, فقلنا يعني تورنتو تاخذ ميغيل ياخذون مكماستر ياخذون بس نوت ان ريجولار بيسز يونيفرستي اوف بريتش كولومبيا ياخذون بس نوت ان ريجولار بيسز ما اعرف اي احد في كوينز او في وسترن اونتاريو بس سمعت انهم في سيرتن ييرز قد اخذوا فتراي تو ايم تو جو اند تو الكتيفز ان ذيس يونيفرستيز كوز Um, you have higher chances in these universities compared to the other universities that they never take Saudi applicants, basically. Mm-hmm. How can we impress them in electives? I mean, what are the qualities they're looking for in medical students? Yeah, so, the expectation of radiology is zero. Until you start the residency, there's no expectation. So it's kind of... Uh, uh, because we already did... The, we know about medicine, we know about surgery for kulliya, they expect something from you. And radiology, there is no expectation. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be nice if you, if you know things about radiology when you go there, because basically in, in electives, you will shadow uh, residents or fellows or, or, uh, or consultant. Uh, they just, يعني, uh, when they go through the discussions, it's good to have uh, a little bit of knowledge about the basic things in, in radiology. Uh, some people, they recommend uh, uh, doing uh, presentations about, for example, nice cases that you saw in back home or, um, uh, or any nice topic that you want to present about. Uh, And having a nice personality, basically, you just be yourself, and uh, that's it. How hard is it financially if I apply without sponsor, like IMGs from other countries? IMG from other country, but غير سعودية يعني. إيه. يعني كل اللي يقدمون على الجامعات without sponsor من الدول الثانية. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Hadoli, so basically, IMGs, uh, li, li, they are not sponsored by, by Saudi uh, Basically, they got paid uh, by, the, by the Canadian government. We have to payment from the payment. On average, here in Ontario, they make, uh, I think, $16,000 for a year. which is يعني, uh, which is enough to have a good life يعني ما ما راح تعيش حياه الرفاهيه بس انه uh, and this same applies for the saudi applicants يعني ما ما راح تعيش حياه الرفاهيه بس انه it's, it's, uh, بتعيش مرتاح mm-hmm. uh, the next question is how can we know the ranking of residency programs in canada uh, which is يعني اعتقد i'm assuming انه ranking what is the best residency program Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, I don't think there is an official ranking, uh, either in Canada or the States or anywhere else. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the quality of the training programs uh, is pretty much standardized across the country. Uh, yeah, and if he, uh, if he programs that are and other programs and certain things, for the general ranking of the universities, uh, generally speaking, outside the residency, outside of medicine. Uh, yeah, University of Toronto ranked the best university in Canada in the last couple of years. Uh, but that does not necessarily mean you know, they have the best residency program. Uh, although I believe you know, you know, 
يعني I, I see the residency program in, in, in Toronto is, is, is excellent وأم شور sure all the other residency program as excellent as well لكن في certain programs فيها تتميز عن others in terms of uh, uh, opening the chances of better fellowships و, وهذه يعني تقريبا ميغيل تو, تورانتو ميكماستر uh, and UBC غالبا they the residents get uh, good fellowships um, uh, in the states. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is, uh, I'm a fourth year medical student currently. Uh, what are the things you recommend me to do uh, in, in terms of research and elective and volunteering? Sorry, um, I uh, last part of the question, I didn't get it. Uh, I'm a fourth year medical student. Uh, what are the things you recommend us to pay a lot of attention to in terms of research electives and volunteering? Uh, research electives, um, yeah, I recommend if you are thinking in radiology, I recommend you do you do a couple of a lot of electives, but just a couple of electives in different centers just just to know for sure that radiology is a good is a good option for you. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of research, uh, I didn't do any research elective, and I don't have a good experience in terms of research elective. I was involved in certain research projects during the medical school, um, but uh, I know Jamaat al Saud. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if this is still uh, something that they do. Uh, they provide opportunities of research electives for for Miguel and and in Toronto. It's um, it's good to to have this experience. Uh, always, it's good to involved in, in research project uh, just to have the skills of of research. Because in residency, uh, uh, you are expected to do research. Or eventually, you may love any yani, this uh, uh, the, this this part of a practice. Because eventually, you may be an academic, and uh, uh, a good part of your time is basically doing research. Mm -hmm. uh, سؤال, uh, can you quickly go over the salaries and the cost of living as a radiology resident in Canada? Yes, so uh, the uh, salary for Saudi applicant will uh, be $2,700 in Canada and $1,500 from the so basically a total of 4000 200 تقريبا دولار و بلس ماينس whatever salary that you get from back home وهذا رينج من تقريبا 4000 الى 7 8000 اعتقد باختلاف sponsorships so basically total that you make is is pretty much the same as the Canadian residents I mean total تقريبا 60000 دولار في السنة which is again it's it's enough to have a good life. With a with a few parts, either until it's a which part of the rats, you get, I think, I think you get an extra alfin or seven year. Either end the cabna, uh, you get an extra money, but I'm not sure. Kim, so they claim to do the female crime. Uh, إن شاء الله راح نكمل مع الدكتور خالد محاضرة MCC QB exam الساعة أربعة بالضبط إن شاء الله على نفس الرابط يعطيك العافية دكتور يعطيكم العافية see you in half an hour